Next we're gonna use Thunderbird to set up a secure POP and SMTP email account to create one for Car Bailey as well. So as soon as you open a Thunderbird it's gonna ask for the name of the user, so Carl Bailey email address Carl Bailey at acme.com same password we use for the account pay attention you have the manual configuration at the bottom as well so we can go there to at any time to set, set to change our settings so right now what it found out it found that we can set up IMAP and POP3 it found out the name of the servers and what to use so it uses TLS for example by default and the name of the ingoing, incoming and outgoing server so if we click POP3 you can use one or the other the same settings we can specify if we go to manual configuration as well so in this one we're going to set up the POP3 account and we're going to say create an account. Before I go there, I'm just going to show you the manual configuration, which simply expands on this. So if I want to say auto detect, this detects what settings are there, and I can retest the connection. This is, this is what we got originally. So what I would want to do now, this is the server host name. I'm going to add pop s for the secure pops and leave the testing here again so that works as well we can change this it's already using secure SMTP as you can see that's the automatic port it's not using port 25 and it's using TLS again so create an account it's gonna say you're about to overwrite how Thunderbird identifies the site. This is only Thunderbird. So this is location. We can get the certificate for this for this if you click on this on this button. We can view the certificate. It's gonna sh show what is received right now and who issued it. All it's saying that certificate is not trusted because it hasn't been verified by recognized authority because Thunderbird does not know, does not understand our root authority. We're going to confirm the security exception and this is going to be your default plan for this for the email only. We're going to say OK. And you're going to see both emails that were sent earlier. We can receive now, no problem. We can delete the message. If we ever need to change the settings, so click on settings and you'll be able to see server settings or any changes we need to make. And here you will see, be able to see the SMTP, outgoing SMTP server as well. I'm just going to close this.